Hello, my name is Jason Mercer, the Toronto Real Estate Board's Director of Market Analysis and Service Channels. We're now one month into the second quarter, and I have to say, April was a very eventful month. Not only did we see a marked shift on the new listings front, but we also had the announcement of the Government of Ontario's Fair Housing Plan. So let's unpack these issues along with the other regular monthly stats. Greater Toronto Area Realtors entered 21,630 new listings into TREB's MLS system in April 2017. This result was up by 33.6% compared to the same month in 2016. New listings were up by double digits for all low-rise home types, including detached and semi-detached houses and townhouses. New listings for condominium apartments were down compared to last year. The fact that we experienced extremely strong growth in new listings in April means that buyers benefited from considerably more choice in the marketplace. Now it's too early to tell whether the increase in new listings was simply due to households reacting to the strong double-digit price growth reported over the past year, or if some of the increase was also a reaction to the Ontario government's recent released plan. The strong growth in new listings also meant that the number of active listings available at the end of April was up on a year-over-year -year basis. On the demand front, total sales for the TREB market area as a whole amounted to 11,630, down 3.2% year-over-year. One issue underlying this decline was the fact that Easter fell in April in 2017 versus March in 2016, which resulted in fewer working days this year compared to last, and historically, most sales are entered into TREB's MLS system on working days. Given the fact that the new measures announced by the provincial government are still in their infancy, we will likely need to watch the sales trend throughout the rest of the spring at least to determine what the overall impact of these policy measures may be on sales. It is also important to point out that the true impact of housing policy changes can sometimes take a year or more to be fully understood, with short-term changes not always borne out over the longer term. Year-over-year -year price growth in TREB's market area remained robust in April. The MLS Home Price Index Composite Benchmark Price was up by 31.7% year-over-year in April 2017. Similarly, the average selling price for all home types combined was up by 24.5% to $920,791. Annual rates of price growth were actually strongest for the condominium apartment segment. To sum up, it was encouraging to see a very strong year-over-year -year increase in new listings. If new listings growth continues to outpace sales growth moving forward, we will start to see more balanced market conditions. It will likely take a number of months to unwind the substantial pent-up demand that has built up over the past two years. With this in mind, expect annual rates of price growth to remain well above the rate of inflation as we move through the spring and summer months. We will obviously continue to watch the market closely over the next few months, and I look forward to speaking with you again at the beginning of June. Thanks very much. Brought to you by GTA Realtors.